Hi friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and today I'm going to show you the walkthrough of the design of uh, fuselage of the Boeing 737-800 airliner. So what you see over here is the fuselage of uh, Boeing 737-800 and you can see the specification tree on the left side. So I'm going to explain uh, how the design can be done so the intermediate users can use this technique and uh, uh, use some of the fuselage drawing and do the design. So some other people, uh, even if they get the drawing, they find it difficult. Uh, it's because they don't have the design intent. Uh, they don't have uh, the idea how to start with. So this tutorial is going to help you how you can start with the design and how you can achieve the complete results. So fuselage is uh, an aircraft's main body section that holds the crew and the passengers of the cargo. In single engine aircraft it will use it will be usually you know contain an engine although in some amphibious aircrafts the single engine is mounted on a pylon attached to the fuselage which in turn is uh, used as a floating hull so the fuselage also serves to position control and stabilization surfaces in specific relationships to lifting surfaces required to aircraft stability and maneuverability so uh, basically I'm going to start uh, with the basic sketches over here so what you can see here are the uh, what you can see here are the planes which are being created so I'll just hide the planes so these are the different planes which are created according to the uh, the drawings uh, which are related to this uh, fuselage and once you create all the planes with the different offsets uh, you would be starting to create the sketches over here so as you can see here this is the first sketch here and uh, <laughs> uh, and basically there will be these many sketches here so you're supposed to do the sketches uh, accordingly to the dimension given in your drawing and once you're done with all the sketches you need to do the multi-section so you are supposed to do the multi-section and make sure the closing point is all uh, lying on the same place otherwise there will be a twist and you may get an error so once you're done with the multi-section this is the output which you're going to get without uh, the holes over here and without this part over here and uh, the two holes which are uh, supposed to be created here and uh, cutting over here is also not there so this is the basic uh, basic design so the basic design is done with the multi-section as the, this is the most important part here so once you're done with that you're supposed to do the pocket so you're supposed to do a pocket sketch like this over here and uh, even this will be provided in the fuselage drawing and then do a, a pocket up to next and then go to the second one here so this particular drawing you will be able to if it's not given in the fuselage drawing you can achieve it from the vertical stabilizer drawing so if you want to know about vertical, vertical stabilizer you need to uh, go back to my video library and take the vertical stabilizer of Boeing 737 airliner so you'll be getting a cutting over here and you're supposed to fix the vertical stabilizer over here uh, once you're doing the assembly so once after doing that you can see the pad over here so this is a little bit complicated so you can see they first make you know uh, the basic sketch of this pad which will be given in the drawing and uh, you'll be uh, doing a padding to the middle over here so uh, so that later you can do the mirror of it so as you can see here the padding is only to the middle and once you're done with that you are doing uh, edge fillet so you have different radius over here so this all depends on uh, how the radius and the specifications are given in your uh, piece of drawing so you've got uh, the cubic the variation is in the cubic and you've got six elements on the points the conic parameters is given for 0.5 and the radius is given 15.5 and once you're done with that edge fillet you will be getting almost uh, the design so it's pretty easy uh, as long as you follow the right procedure so once you're done with that you're doing a mirror as I said to get the other side over here and then after that uh, you're supposed to create a hole over here this is pretty simple <coughs> and uh, two holes over here even this also will be provided if it's not provided in the fuselage drawing it will be provided in the cockpit drawing so uh, 
once you're done with that uh, your design of uh, your prototype will be complete so uh, that's all about the walkthrough on the design of uh, fuselage of uh, Boeing 800 airliner so I hope uh, this video is going to help you in your uh, design process and uh, Please, uh, you know, like my videos and subscribe me and uh, comment on my videos if you're getting any doubts or if you if you need more uh, more in detail uh, tutorials. Please ask me and I'll be uploading that uh, as long as the time permits me. So thank you so much.